There are times when I'm stitching decorative stitches that need to be kind of flipped or flopped. So for example, if I had stitch number 117, this little scallop can actually be mirror imaged to actually go the opposite direction. So instead of moving your fabric so it's all inside here, you can actually just flip the stitch and now the, keep the bulk of the fabric out to the other side. Now, if we look for a stitch that's not totally symmetrical both ways, let's find one of the leaves, like 171. So if you keep an eye on this little oak leaf, you notice that it's kind of uh, larger at, as it starts and smaller when it ends. So we can do the mirror image where we have it flip-flopped up and down like the scallops did. But now we have the opposite mirror image where we can tip it from end to end. So now it'll start with the skinny end and so to the larger end. So you could actually have four different directions depending on which mirror image you actually have set up. Now, just to take it one step further, if we go into the sequencing area by touching the A heart B button here, and we were putting that stitch in, that was stitch 171, we can put one in that way, put in one again, and now we can mirror image it so it actually looks like there's a little wave and or we could even change it to go skinny to end and even go like that. So you could you can actually use mirror image with any of the stitches even in the sequencing or memory area. But how nice is it to be able to flip-flop a stitch at just a touch of a button?